Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If Mikey Bustos brought you guys here, make sure you guys click the like button below. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you guys check out Mikey Bustos videos. I'll leave the link um, in the description box. But Mikey is currently raising an African Grey that in many ways reminds me of Smokey, especially um, when she was younger. What I really like about Mikey's um, videos with his African Grey is that his African Grey Lagaya always appears very calm in his videos. And to me, that's um, a huge sign. What? What is it, Smokey? What are you trying to say? That's a huge sign that he's placing his bird's safety and his bird's um, comfort as the top priority. Um, so I think that's important when you guys are watching any bird video. Just always watch the bird's body language, and you can really tell what the, um, I guess, what the person filming is really prioritizing in their video. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you um, my training session with Smokey. And I'm going to be working with her on a skill that I think is very important for any bird that is flighted um, in captivity. If you guys have a flighted bird, what you need to know is that most birds that are flighted... What is it, Smokes? Most birds get lost, not because they want to fly away from their owners, but because when they do get outside, they don't know how to fly back down. So the descent is a very um, important skill that I'm constantly always working with Smokey. So, I thought it would be fun for me to show you guys um, kind of a clip of our training session. So let's go ahead. I'm going to move this plant and then we'll go ahead and get started. You want to you want to get started? Give me a kiss. All right. All right, guys, so to warm up, I'm going to be um, targeting Smokey from perch to perch. And all I'm using as sea, um, treats are sunflower seeds. I also have safflower seeds. so. That's all I'm using. But if you guys know that your bird has another treat that they prefer, that's what I would um, probably do. Is use whatever your bird likes. I mean, if they don't like it, it's not really going to be rewarding in the first place. So let's go ahead and get started. Smokey. Good. Come here. Good girl. All right, guys, so I just did some targeting with Smokey around the aviary. And um, she's doing really well, so I think we're ready to work on the descent. Um, so you can't see it, but there's a perch up here. I don't know. Yep, you can't see it. But there's a perch up here that, from my hand, it's, pretty, it's a pretty steep angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall her to my hand back and forth. And we're slowly going to close my hand in to um, increase the angle of descent. And, you know, just like any other skill, the more that your bird practices with this, the better they become. Yeah, and like I said, this is going to be uh, very important if you guys have a flighted bird. Alright guys, so she's on that higher perch now, so I'm going to go ahead and recall her down. Smokey, come! Good girl! What a good bird! So from the video, I know that it might look like this is um, something that is really easy for her. But honestly, when I first started um, recalling her from this angle, it was really difficult and she was really reluctant to fly. So it really takes a lot of time to build up your bird's confidence so that they feel comfortable doing this. So after doing this for a while now, Smokey is now pretty comfortable doing it. So that's why she's not hesitating and she's not that reluctant to do it. But if your bird is having difficulty, make sure that you guys are always, um, don't ask for too much all at once. You want to break whatever goal you have into really small um, steps so that your bird can do it, build up the skill and also build up their confidence at the same time. So since that did seem um, like something that she was really easily able to do, let's go ahead and close up the gap and we're gonna ask for a much sharper angle of descent now. Smokey, come. Good. Smokey, come. Good girl. I don't know if you guys saw that, but she literally just dropped from the um, perch. So let's go ahead and see that again. All right, you guys ready? Smokey, come. Good girl. What a good bird. There you go. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but for me to see her um, being able to descend at this sharp of an angle, it's just, um, it's amazing to watch. So I hope you guys are enjoying watching this as much as I am, not only filming, but also seeing this in person. Alright guys, so I kind of tilted the camera up more so you can see Smokey in the entire frame. But what I want you to really see, Smokey, come here, is that angle of descent. 
I want you to I want you to be able to see how she quickly drops um, right off that perch. So for her to be able to do something like that, it takes, as you can imagine, a lot of confidence. She needs to be able to really believe in her wings and know that when she drops from that perch, that she's able to not just hit the ground, but she's able to stop herself in time to reach my hand. Perch. Good. Okay, let's see that again. Smokey, you ready? Come. Smokey, come on. Smokey, come. Good girl. That is amazing. You ready? You ready? Okay, come here. Good girl. What a good bird. Let's really challenge her wings now and her skill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move much closer to the perch, which means I'm going to be uh, making this angle even sharper. So let's see if she can do that, because we're going to try to constantly improve um, her skill. Okay, this might be pushing it, but let's see what happens. Smokey, come. Good girl! Right there, really good. Very good, Smokey. Let's see that drop one more time, guys. Smokey, come. Let me see if you can see my hand. Smokey, come. Good girl. So just like a rock, she just drops right out of that perch. But unlike a rock, she lands directly in my hand. So, what a great job. When you guys are working with your bird, um, one tip that I would give you... Smokey, I'm trying to work with you. I'm trying to work with you. I'm trying to work with you. What? Alright, so before I was interrupted, guys, if you're um, working with your bird, one tip that I would give you... Are you in a talking mood? Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, that's tickle, right. Alright, guys, so one other thing that you might um, not know is that Smokey gets very vocal really early in the morning and also right before the sun sets. So this is when she's most vocal. So before um, Smokey interrupted me, what I wanted to share with you were um, two pieces of advice. One was, um, if you're training your bird, Always try to vary the type of treats that you're using. So in this training session, I'm alternating between sunflower and safflower seeds. If you vary the type of treats and they never know like what they're getting, it keeps them always kind of on the edge and on their toes. So they'll more likely want to do what you're asking because they never know um, what type of treat they're getting next. And that keeps it very addictive. The second piece of advice that I'm going to give you is what I'm going to demonstrate next with Smokey. Smokey, perch. Go ahead. Go. Good. I know that your focus might be on a particular task in every training session. So for example, in this session, we're focusing on flight. Come. Good. But don't always repeatedly um, call your bird over. Don't make it boring. So. The way that I do that and the way to uh, make every training session very interesting is I always cue her with other things that she knows. So for example, when she comes over, I'll ask her, Smokey, can you say hi? Good. Can you ask them what they're doing? Good. Can you do a kitty cat? Good girl. Cue them um, so that they can do other behaviors and offer other behaviors. Incorporate things they already know in building things that they don't know. And this keeps the training session um, much more interesting than trying to keep it focused on only one specific task, which eventually a bird can kind of be like, yeah, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. So keep it interesting, vary not only the treats, vary the tasks that you're asking your bird to do. So I'm going to show you that one more time. Smokey, you done? Go perch. Good. Smokes, come. Good. What's your name? Can you tell the camera? What's your name? What's your name? Good. Can you do a kitty cat? Give me a kiss. Good bird. There you go. Ah, choo! Thank you. What a good bird. Smokey, you so pretty. Good bird, Smokey. I told you guys I was going to offer you two pieces of advice. 
I actually meant three. Here's the last one. At the end of every training session, you always want to make it a very positive experience for your bird. Just like humans, what they remember last, they probably remember most. So if you um, end your training session, always end on a good note and always give them the best rewards at the very end. Smokey, can you wave? Wave? No, you need a wave, not just say it. There you go, good girl. And then I'm giving her an almond. So this is um, one of her favorite treats. So the next time we do a training session, she's gonna remember that the last time we did this, it was really um, reinforcing. It was something that um, she got a bunch of treats, for and she enjoys it and that's what's important all right guys so before my camera dies um, just real quickly if you guys enjoyed the video if you guys um, like watching Smokey make sure you guys also follow me on Instagram so I'm gonna post that in the, in the description box below and if you guys could also click the like button below and this will inspire me to make new videos in the future as always, if you guys haven't done so, make sure you guys also subscribe to my channel. That'll notify you um, and make sure your notifications are turned on that um, whenever I post a new video. So I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching.